defeat ISIS a lot sooner than ultimately, though, because every day that ISIS is not shown as a clear loser, they're perceived as winning. They'll continue to inspire the types of attacks we've seen here, Fort Hood, uh, Chattanooga, Paris. Uh, let's face it, th this is a growing threat. It's a real threat. We need to take it seriously. That is Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin on MSNBC's Morning Joe earlier today with Miranda Khan, J.D. Hayworth, back with you on Newsmax Prime. Miranda, Ron said right there, the U.S. needs to lead a coalition to defeat ISIS. He says as long as ISIS is perceived to be winning, they'll continue to plot attacks against the West. Now, concern is also growing over travel during the Thanksgiving holiday. Late last night, the State Department issued a global travel warning to U.S. citizens, citing growing concerns that ISIS and other terror groups will in fact plan more attacks. For more on what that means for us here in this country at Thanksgiving time, we're pleased to be joined via telephone by Congressman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. Uh, Congressman Blackburn serves on the serves as the chairman of the new House Select Investigative Panel on Planned Parenthood and she's the vice chairman of the full House Energy and Commerce Committee. So Marsha, as we welcome you and wish you a happy Thanksgiving, your reaction to the travel warning my reaction to the travel warning is they they know more than what they are telling us and so what i want them to do is to come out and say this is exactly what we know and this is exactly the intel that we have and uh yes everybody should be mindful but jd we've all been mindful since september 11th so now, is this due to the, the Paris attacks? Is this due to other intel that they are getting? What is the driver behind this? That's what I want to know. Congressman, are you suggesting that there is, in fact, a specific threat against the United States and that you're just not hearing I, about it? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't think anybody knows for sure. We get this travel warning, and no one knows the details of that. So I, I think what we want to know is what are those details. I hope and pray that this is no more than um, stay vigilant, watch, be careful. And that would be what I am hopeful that it is. But, you know, just to give this when, of course, you know, don't you know people that say they view the world differently and they travel differently and they prepare differently and they watch differently than they did before September 11th? So mindfulness is great, and we all are going to be mindful. But what I want to know is what are the specifics, and I hope it's nothing more than just, you know, we need to be mindful, and this is a warning and a reminder that we all should be mindful. And I have to say this, I am, I think our intelligence community in this country and our military intelligence community do an absolutely fantastic job. And I am so grateful to them. And I am concerned when I hear reports that the administration or the White House may have asked, asked the intelligence community or sought to have reports of what was actually happening with ISIS, to have uh, those Well, only, only a minute nuance. left. Let, let me drill down on this for a second, Marsha. So what happens now? We understand there's going to be a new report issued by the Inspector General specific about military intelligence and the possibility that uh, the assessments were cooked. Uh, we heard others in Washington say the responsibility rests in the White House, even as the president is trying to step away rhetorically from this thing. What is your instinct on this, Marsha? 30 seconds. The instinct is this is something that is going to need our attention, and Congress is going to have to conduct its oversight. The Intel Committee, the Homeland Security Committee, looking at this and finding out exactly what happened. You cannot put American citizens and our men and women in uniform around this globe at risk simply because you don't want to face reality. Marsha Blackburn checking in via telephone from Nashville, Tennessee. Marsha, you have our thanks and we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. When we come back, more on this travel alert. That's straight ahead, so stay tuned.